it has an extra element. It doesn't have that what if. It has this, I know exactly what I'm missing out on. Welcome back to Dastardly Hamster, where we try to convert each other to our favorite bands. So you liked the previous song by The National, so that means I get to show you another one. And if you like this one, I get to show you a third. Today we're going to be doing I Need My Girl. This song is a bit more straightforward than the last one. This is like the perfect wedding song. Matt Berninger, who is the singer of The National, said he wrote it because he missed his wife and his daughter when he was on tour. So it's just about that. It is very straightforward. It's very simple, but beautiful sound sounding. This is their most popular song and it's not close. <laughs> like it's, it's okay. quite, it's quite a league above the other ones. However, that said, it's not going to surprise you as much as their other songs. Definitely not as much as the last one. So I don't actually expect you to give this like a really high rating, but I'm hoping you at least like enough to say, you know what? That's like a really nice song. I could see dancing to that with somebody that I okay. care about. I do love when songs have some really clear guitar. Mm -hmm. I, I like when the when the guitar can pierce through every other thing that could be going on. So yeah, I did like that beginning. Now that thing that he's playing is so hard to play. He's doing this thing with his pinky that is sort of like pushing on and pushing off of it, but like mm -hmm. in a really weird way that I haven't seen done in any other song. You can like sort of half-ass it and make it sound close enough, but he's doing something extra to it that is actually really hard to pull off. So I just want to give credit to that there. <laughs> I am good, I am grounded Davy says that I look taller But I can't get my head around it I keep feeling smaller and smaller Forty-five percenter. I actually looked up this lyric because I wasn't sure what it meant. The way that he describes it, the singer, he's not even able to give like half of himself, right? Like he, he can't even make like hmm. the basic like halfway. He can only make forty-five percent. Hmm. Um, so he, he feels like he's not living up to the standards that he should be giving to, in this case, his wife and his daughter. That's deep, man. No, that's really sad. And I do yeah. think that it's it's important to all of us as fans to remember that musicians, they're in it for the art. Mo most of them are in it for the art. They get into stuff because they just, they really, really want to sing more than anything that in the world. They just want to sing. Guitarists, because more than anything in the whole world, all they want to do is play guitar. But that doesn't necessarily mean that they wanted to tour, right? It's a right. side effect. Um, they can't all be Enya <laughs> and stay home instead of touring. Um, a lot of them, it, it's a prerequisite that if they want to sing, if they want to play guitar, that means traveling the world and therefore being away from their families. And that's a really sad thing. And we should all, as fans, recognize that they do give something up and their families give something up so that we can enjoy their music. Yeah, well put. 25% of them. I love where those big drums come in that felt very um, Phil Collins. 
okay interesting sure. wait maybe maybe not phil collins but a phil collins song <laughs> okay about in front of family I try to call you from the party it's full of punks and cannonballers I need my girl This would also be a great song for a movie. <laughs> the thing about The National, you could put them in any movie. <laughs> like, yeah. If you have an emotional scene that you need people to cry at, put a National song in there. I guarantee you <laughs> that that'll send them over the edge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm under the gun again. I did find it really beautiful. There were a lot of pieces about it that I liked. I did like what he was doing with the guitar. It was a fairly repetitive, but it did sound nice. I can excuse repetitiveness if it's good enough. And I do think that, that it was um, it was really pretty what was going on with the guitar. There was a lot of drum stuff that I was very happy with. I got bored after the first minute and a half or so, and that's okay. I'm not going to give it a worse rating necessarily because of that mm -hmm. uh, because I did find it was beautiful I loved where it was coming from and the emotion behind it and I'm glad that I had the backstory going into it is it had sort of a different spin as a love song because like we've heard so many love songs everybody has <laughs> that yeah. a lot of the time you're going these people don't sound like they're really in love in love you know mm. like it sounds like a, a passion it's always a about like I just met you or like we were together but now we're broken up and you know like right. it's just always the same thing and I thought that this was nice because it's just coming from uh, somebody who's already married it has an extra element it doesn't have that what if it has this I know exactly what I'm missing out on and I think that's cute it's, it's, a, it's a homesickness song so I'm gonna give it a three out of five stars okay now, the thing about this type of music, it is background music, right? Mm -hmm. So if you are like intently listening to it, yeah, you might get bored. I remember when I first listened to The National, that's what I thought. I actually thought all their songs were boring. And then eventually, like, I had to like realize like, oh no, this music is not for me to be like intensely focusing on it. But if you have it in the background, if you know the time for this music, it's just... It's so perfect. Like, it'll lighten your mood. It'll make you feel so many emotions. Yeah, so it doesn't lend itself well to a reaction in that sense. <laughs> that said, I would give this a four. I love it. But I actually agree with you about it being a little repetitive. Uh, they do redo that one guitar beat a lot. But it is difficult to play, so I give them credit for that. Um, to do that the right. whole, to do that I the whole song. I bother to learn this for you people. You are going to hear it right. a thousand times. <laughs> yeah, such a good song.
Like this, this is a wedding dance song for sure. Well, that's it for us hand stars. Spin your wheels down to that subscribe button. And give us a dastardly thumbs up.